it's Shanique. Welcome back to another session of Math Pilates. Today we're going to be concentrating on connecting the leg muscle to the core muscles. Like we saw last week, we want to think about the foot and the arch working to support the body weight and to help you with balance. And then also we work, the, we work out the ankle stability. As you get stronger, you are going to try more complex exercises. For example, as you saw in the swan dive, the legs come up. And you might think, what is really lifting my leg? You might say, right, my legs are lifting a temp. Sure, but they're always coming from your center first. That doesn't mean that your legs are not working. They are working from your core muscles. But they need to also be integrated together because there's not always one muscle working. We want the hamstring help as much as we want the quads, hip flexor, inner thighs, calves, feet, all together working at the core. And as they all work together in your core muscle, they come up and doesn't feel in balance. If you're only going to lift your legs, there's only so far your body can go down. But if you lift your legs together with your core, it's, it's a much more powerful uh, exercise. So we are going to think how we connect with the calves and the hamstring and how does it work in the abdominal muscle. We're going to start with your Yamuna ball to open your feet. If you don't have any Yamuna ball at home, you can use a spiky ball, a trigger ball, or a glass water bottle just to awaken your feet to make them feel pliable so they can activate and support the leg muscles. Okay, so I'm going to go toes, toes, arch, arch, heels, heels, and then I go backward until the toes on the ball. And then toes, toes, heels, heels, middle of the feet, toes, and down. One more time. Back. One more time. And back. Oh, feels good too. Massage under that foot, especially on my right foot. This is the turf one for me. And okay. Stay as long as you want to feel your feet active and awakened and pliable, ready to contract. And then you're going to go in a Pilates V with your feet. We're going to wake up all the connection of the calves, the shins, the hamstring the inner thighs, and hopefully to touch the hip muscles all the way to the tummy muscle, all the way to the spine. Everything is always connected. So we want them to, all of the muscles to feel alive so that when you move, it's always full body. No muscles get overworked or underworked. Okay, so we start in a Pilates V, we're going to inhale navel to spine, we go up on the toes, balancing on the little toe and the big toes, and then exhale, heels down. So we're just going to awaken the, the calf muscles, so your V should be able to keep your heels connected together. So when you lift the arch of your feet, like we learned the last two weeks, we want to feel like they're supporting the calves and then they're making their way up to the inner thighs, up to the hamstring, all the way to the where the hamstring are attached under the sitting bones or attached to the sit bones. And then it makes the way up to the spine, all the way up to the crown of the head. Okay, I think my calf muscles are pretty alive now and I start feeling my hamstring turned on, the lower part of the hamstring. So it's up to you. Some people fired up very fast. Some people need more time. Now my hamstring came on. Good. And now I'm waiting for the inner thighs to kick in a little bit. Ooh, hamstring getting tired. Okay, maybe that's enough. All right, shake up the legs. So the inner thighs take a little bit more time. So I'm going to make sure that they come alive too. My hamstrings and calf muscles are already on. So I'm going to um, 
keep my feet flat and try to squeeze the inside of my legs together and then come up. And then exhale, making my V a little smaller. Sit bones go together. And then up and then exhale. Okay, that does the trick for me. You got to find out what works for you. Maybe bringing the sitting bones together might work. Exhale. Inner thighs coming up, so there's no bent knees, but there's no lock knees either. Inner thighs coming up towards the spine. I'm going to stand on the toes. Last one. And then exhale. Once you feel the calf muscle and the hamstring muscles, obviously your lower quad muscle will turn on. And that's a good thing because you don't want to lock your knees back when you straighten your legs. You want buoyant legs so that the muscles are really working to support your legs up to your hips. So lock knees really doesn't strengthen your legs. Um, so calves, hamstring muscles should feel that connection from your calves to your hamstring with a very buoyant legs that are strong coming up the hips to support the spine. So you know that we have all these exercises we've done the last two weeks, the toes, the arch, the wiper blades, all these muscles that awaken your feet, your ankles, so that we can access the calves, the shin muscles, the hamstring, inner thighs. Feel free to go back and do those exercises if you need more time and you don't feel your muscles quite yet. Okay, now feet are parallel, toes forward, arms in front. We're going to bend the hip to squat. Inhale, tummy goes up. We sit on an imaginary chair and then we pick up the toes with the knees staying square and we exhale up and heels down. Breathe in, we squat. We pick up the heels, staying parallel, ankles, knees, hips. Always help when you do this in front of the mirror because you can organize yourself better and make the right muscle work. And then exhale. One more time. Hips are bending, knees over ankles. Pick up your heels, come up, balance. And then exhale. Now we reverse. We go up on the, he on the toes, we squat, bending at the hip. And now to lower the ankles down, make sure you're using your little toe to stay on heels, arch stays up, and then we come up. We come up again. Squat, and then feet flat, and then exhale. Breathe in, balance on your toes, keep your heels high, arch high, bend, bend at your hips. Lower your feet flat, strong, exhale. One more time. And then flat, and exhale. Okay, let's get to the mat work. So for this session, you will need a Yamuna bowl, two sandbag, ankle weights, and a pair of dumbbell, one kilo, 1.5, as long as it doesn't feel too heavy for your shoulder girdle. Let's get started. Okay, so continue practicing uh, the feet up and down together in our 100th exercise. You inhale, you point your toes, you exhale and lower down. Inhale, exhale. Now we'll do a couple of squats before we get down, so to prepare the hip to go all the way down. So we did the parallel squat, now we're going to do the turnout squat. Inhale, arms on top of each other. Try to keep your spine coming straight down to your heels, and then exhale, straighten your legs, connect your inner thighs at the very end and your sitting bones, and then lower your feet down. Deep breath in. Squat, spread your knees outside your feet and hips, and exhale. Strong legs in the thighs, hamstring, and feet down. One more time. Come back up, 
and then the next one we're going to go down to our 100th position. So you will go as long as possible with your high heels. When you can't anymore, you flatten your feet. You roll down, your legs come up. You grab the back of your legs and you do some articulation with your feet. Inhale, point, exhale, squeeze the abs. Deep breath in. Two more times. Keep the inner thighs connected with your sit bones. Last one. And then begin. Exhale, knees bend, stretch your arms back, stretch your feet, flex your toes, and point your toes. One more. Circle your arms and bend your knees towards your chest and use your ankle weights so we can find more muscles. You can also work on your feet. Okay, so feet are flex. I'm going to start with the weights. All right, all ten toes pull up. So I encourage your toes to curl towards your face. Keep your inner thighs together, sitting bones together, tummy in. Roll down, exhale. Arms up by the ceiling. So as you inhale, deep breath in, squeeze your inner thighs, but make sure you're not squeezing your glutes. Your inner thighs between your legs. Go up and over. Continue pulling your toes towards your face. Exhale, head forward. Now reconnect with them if you lost them. Pull down. Once again, you point your toes. You flex your toes. Deep breath in. Pull on your toes. Go up. Exhale. Roll your hips, stretch your spine, exhale, head down. Point your toes and flex your toes. Head below the shoulders, carry the arms on the back. Point your toes, flex your toes. Three more times, point, flex. <sighs> Last two, continue connecting your inner sitting bones and inner thighs. See if you can keep them together as you arrive forward. Keep them connected up into your tummy. Last one. And relax. Weights on the side. So take only the weights on the legs that you're going to do the single leg circle. So you are the one who will be anchored into the mat. Take your knees with your chest. Fold that hip really well as we did in the squat exercise. Spread all your five toes on the left side. Extend the leg. Arms by the side. Anchor this leg. Connect your tummy in and we go. Lift the hips.
Last one. Reverse. This required a little bit more thinking today. Last one. And knee to chest. Switch. And let's switch weights. Knee towards the chest, fold the hip, flex your bottom foot, extend the leg up, inhale. Keep concentrating on keeping your ankle down, reverse. Last one, and knee towards the chest. Ooh, cramp. And then release, come up to sitting. Weights down, rolling like a ball. Feet are flat, hands by your ankles. Pick up your elbows, nice and wide. Balance on your toes. See if you can keep your sitting bones together. Float your arch, scoop your abdominal in and roll. Now try, time to practice our sumo squat. Last one. And single leg stretch. Hold and that's it. Exhale. Both legs in. Lower your head down. For the double leg stretch, inner thighs, sitting bones together holding the legs towards the center line. Ankles, hands on the ankles, elbows nice and wide. Exhale, so you're gonna feel your inner thighs holding your hips towards your tummy. Last one. Oh, that's hard. Ah, come up to sitting for spine stretch. Okay, curl your toes. Stretch your calves without locking your knees. Keep the quad muscle coming up to your thighs. Think of your legs are wearing a glove that's made for the legs. So you're pulling up into your hips. Spread your toes out, arms up. So now you're going to try to lift your sitting bones, your inner thighs to lift your spine up. So we are taking all those muscles, we are bringing them up, and then you squeeze your core as you exhale, and then you inhale, you lift your spine together with your glutes, hamstring, inner thighs, pelvic floor, Exhale. Keep massaging that gut. Last one. Grab the feet and stretch. Bring the legs together. And then roll up. Winch your toes. 
Pull the shoulders back. Shoulder blades together, reverse that. Squeeze your legs together, spread your toes out. Open your legs again. Move your sit bones out of the way. Sometimes gravity can tend to be cruel. Arms by the side, chest up. Try to keep the beautiful ankle strength, shin strength, quad strength. Twist, exhale. Last set. And then come up and then relax. Pull the shoulders back. We're going to go on the knees for the swan first to stretch the ankles, stretch the calves, and then we'll put our ankle weights on for doing the swan. Okay, so hands down on the mat, flex your toes. And then point your toes, not in a way that cramped your feet, in a way that your big toes are getting longer. And then the, as, a, as a result, you feel your arch, the arch of your feet turning on. And now flex, because you are going to feel cramped after that. You push back, and then you come in, you do again. You lengthen your big toes. You feel the arch without cramping your feet. And then you flex your toes. You go back. One more time. Lengthen your big toes. They are getting really long. So much that you will feel your ankles and your shin bones naturally pressing down as a result. And then you flex your toes. Whew. One more time, lengthen the toes, so you're stretching your ankles as well, and then flex your toes, go back. Now stay on your toes, lower your feet flat down, you can grab the edge of the mat and lower your knees. Try to deep squat and lower. Uh, I have nice stretch on the calves. I guess the left calf is not so tight. I don't feel any stretch. You have to put weight more on it. <laughs> Last one. And then bend. Okay, so that's great for ankle mobility, feeling the calves, the shins. And now we are ready for swan. So hopefully we can keep the big toes up like we did with this exercise without feeling like we're having a cramp. Okay, so chest down, long toes, feel the anchoring of your legs into the mat and the anchoring of your hips into the mat, long legs as well. Inhale, deep breath in. Because your legs, your big toes are getting longer, sore your legs, sore your spine. And then exhale. Long legs. And then exhale. Now let's talk about the inner thighs. Could you keep them closer to each, each other? If they limit, if having your inner thighs together limits your hips, maybe have a little bit more distance between your legs. It's up to you. Exhale. You know what? I feel my glutes just turned on naturally. So I'm going to try that again. So more inner thighs. Give me glutes. Give me lower abs and more back bend. Yay! Exhale. Two more time. Uh, 
Last one. And exhale. Woo. That was very interesting for me. I felt a little bit more back bend in my lumbar spine to today uh, in a healthy way that supported or was supported by my core muscles. As soon as I got my inner thighs a little bit more together and my big toes were going away, my legs were going away, I could go up without feeling like I'm, I was crunching on my back, which can happen very often for me because I have this arch, but it was really supported by my tummy my glute turned on, which my lower belly then turned on naturally. Ah, oh, it was a very good experience. Hopefully you had a good experience with that one as well. Let me know in the comments box below how you felt. Be safe when you do the extension. Not everyone has a uh, range in their lower spine. Okay, side leg kick. Okay, start on the side, elbow, to the hips, one line. Then you're gonna squeeze your inner thighs together and pick your legs and bring them forward. And then top leg up to hip height, turn out. Inhale, one, two. Two more. Three. Two, last one, back, back, turn out, so the bottom heel on top, top heel on top of your bottom ankle, inhale, one more, and reverse, all five toes open up, Last one, and lower. So keep your waistline up, extend the leg like we did in the swan, feel somebody elongating your big toe and your inner thighs and your spine and as you circle. And then exhale, without falling down. Whew. Turn onto your tummy, grasshopper. So think you have the weights weighing you down into the mat. Then you try to lengthen your toes, your legs, and then pick up the legs from the good connection and clap. Not going high, then crisscross. And then legs down, shift on the other side. Elbow to ribs, to hips, one line, breathe in, pick up the legs, bring them forward, turn out, inhale, Back. Inhale. Two more. Last one. And then turn out, bottom, top heel on top of the bottom heel. One more, and then reverse, flex. Last one, and close. Top leg up, elongate. Feel the tummy elongating as well. Change direction. And then leg down and then turn around for teaser. Okay, continue feeling the anchoring of the legs, which, which will keep your hamstring turned on, inner thighs turned on, without over squeezing anything. Deep breath in. Hold, exhale, bend your spine, new space, your vertebrae, and lower your arms down. Deep breath in.
and then exhale. Three more counts, deep breath in. Exhale. Hopefully you manage to keep your inner thighs together two more. one balance and exhale <sighs> seal feet flat we're gonna do the normal seal and then we're gonna transition to rolling like a ball so we can come up to standing grab the heels so now when you clap, curl your tailbone a little bit down. So you're clapping at the sit bones, at the bum, at the lower abs. One, two, three. Two more. Last one. And now we'll do five and we come up on the fifth. Two, one more. Ready. And down, push up, toes, feet on the toes, high heels again. So this time we are thinking of the inner thighs coming up, the hamstring supporting us, toes supporting us, deep breath in, and then we exhale. Walk forward, no lock knees, upper quads, lower quads up, stay on your feet, and we go. Last one, and pike up, stretch the ankles. Ooh. Lower the knees down. We're gonna do a little bit of cat cow today before we finish. So toes are long, arches are lifted, breathe in, exhale, inhale. Inhale, exhale, now tuck your toes, exhale, inhale, all right. It was a very interesting swan today. I guess what's, that's what the feet work out do to you. You open new spaces in your body that you didn't think you would need. <laughs> I hope also that you have a good experience today with this class. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get more videos like that where I get new experience. Feel free to share this video around with your friends or family. There's always somebody looking for starting mat pilates. If you think that will work, make it available for them. If you stay consistent, continue to practice, that's how you're gonna see great results and changes in your body. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for another video.